Hello and welcome to our presentation from Hexonic. My name is Christian Nun. I'm the managing director of the subsidiary in Germany. And um, I would like to show you a little bit about our modern solution with modern refrigerant for heat exchangers. Heat exchangers are one of the most implemented elements of refrigeration system. They transfer energy from the refrigerant that evaporates during the cooling process while the condensing refrigerant constitutes the energy source for the heating process. By the way, I apologize a little bit for my voice. I have two and a half days fair behind me, so I hope it will still keep running. Exonic heat exchangers designed to operate as condensers and evaporators or economizers, superheaters, and so of subcoolers as well. Um, we, we have mainly focus here for refrigeration applications, what we have like heat pumps, refrigeration circuits, air to water heat pumps and water to water heat pumps. We all know that um, heat exchanger designed for refrigeration, especially heat pumps, has a dramatically increase become due to some changes in, um, let's say, the way of how to design heating systems in the near future. Um, we have several solutions for these applications, and this is what I want to, to show you. At the moment, most asked applications for heat exchangers are in heat pumps, air to water, as I said, ground source heat pumps, high power water heat pumps, subcoolers with vapor superheating features, subcoolers general economizers, also low temperature systems, indirect systems. Starting from different brace plate heat exchangers through plate fr and frame, shell and coil and shell and tube devices for industrial um, exchangers. Next year, we plan also to introduce to the market a double wall brace plate heat exchanger for a refrigeration application called safe plate. As we all know, and as I said, the increased demand for this application have several solutions, and starting with different ones. And um, I would like to tell you also a little bit about our new version for ground source heat pumps like a shell and coil, what we call shell and coil uh, heat exchanger. Basically, you have a traditional water to water heat pump system, you have an evaporator, you have a condenser, compressor expansion valve, and then the two water circuits. You could use it with brace units on both sides, but if you would like to go for um, groundwater source or any other natural river water or other water sources you could have, you may have some difficulties by using a braced unit. So what are different with our unit? Of course, if we go for a groundwater source, or as I said, for a natural river water source, we have decided to design a shell and coil heat exchanger, which is called RAT. It works mostly as an evaporator, even refrigeration distribution is possible due to similar uh, lengths of the tubes. We have achieved a very high efficiency of the heat exchanger because of the medium has a long way through it compared to braced units. The advantage is it's designed for the modern A2L refrigerants like R32, 452B, 454B, as well as propane and ammonia in direct expansion. High thermal, high thermal efficiency with high performance superheating, even refrigeration distribution, which is quite important for evaporation, evaporators, with a low male distribution risk. Highly resistant to corrosion, because the unit is completely made fully of stainless steel. So it's more corrosion also if you have a groundwater source or open water source. High performance bundle with corrugated pipes with a diameter of six millimeters. Um, adapted connection, easy to assemble and very high resisting also for freezing because the bundle is a bit more flexible compared to straight tubes where you have it between the baffles as well. <coughs> and high resistant to variable loads. 
Um, <clears throat> besides this, we, we can also make adapted connection as it's written here. So if you need some special connections due to your system or design for heat pumps, then it's also possible because we could also make it a bit more tailored. As you see here, a little bit of the inside of the unit, and you see here what we call shell and coil, because it's really a banded tube bundle which is going through around the coil. So that's a huge difference compared to a standard shell and tube unit. Then another comment is here also about the uh, lead times. So such a unit, we normally manufacture within four or five weeks. Different series of types. Right now, it's up to a maximum capacity of 40 kilowatt. We are working on the extension of this, um, of this product range because we discover that there is a more and more demand coming for also water-to-water -water heat pumps. So we are working now with the extension up to 100 kilowatt. The working parameters on shell side is 16 bar up to 200 degree. And on the coil side, 45 bar. So even high pressure refrigerant could be used for it. And maximum temperature, 130 degree. And you see we have different sizes already available for this one. The design is based on an, one of our very known product called GAD. This product is coming from the heating application. It was designed for district heating, steam and water. And there it comes this idea to adapt it then to the refrigeration application and to refrigeration market. Brace plate heat exchangers is another product, of course, very common to use in refrigeration, especially in heat pumps. Um, as I said, there's a growing, growing market for it. And beside heat pumps, you have also other applications, skits in refrigeration, supermarket skits, and other applications where brace plate heat exchangers are used. Based on a CFD analysis, we have adjusted our distribution system, as you could, could see it here. So this distribution system um, is to make, it to make it happen that the refrigeration after the expansion valve is really going through each channel and reach the complete surface and using the complete surface of the heat exchanger. The working parameters are for, for um, that unit, are also for minus 194 up to 150 and also up to 45 bar. So even still with high pressure refrigeration, it's still possible to use. Um, in addition to this one, we are working also on a solution for CO2, which will come up the next year because CO2 is also more and more uh, used in heat pumps. Besides this, the R, what we call R line, is also used in chillers, of course, so for cold water production and those things. <coughs> Besides the typical copper braced plate heat exchangers, we have also um, heat exchangers braced and fully made out of stainless steel. So these are typically used for tap water heating system or central heating system or systems where you have a more aggressive media or for geothermatic heat system. Operating range minus 195 up to 230. Next year, we will make also here for this unit um, what we call safe plate, so a double wall, and then adjust it also for refrigeration application. So that means, for example, for heating up tap water, then with a fully stainless steel braced unit, and then for refrigeration application, so that you could use it directly the hot gas coming out of the compressor for heating up the tap water. Our lunar heat exchanger, this is what we call for the um, entire made out of stainless steel product range we are having. 
This application, as I said, it's uh, cooling systems for high hygienic standard, demineralized water, tap water heating system. Um, it is a, yes, reliable and essential in central heating systems, systems with aggressive media, systems with galvanized pipes as well, because then you could have get problems with a copper braced unit and galvanized pipes in the system. Industrial cooling system, but it could be also used for ammonia systems because it's fully made of stainless steel. Pressure range is up to 20 bar right now, depending a bit on, on the types and the size of the unit. There are units available also up to 25. Um, with the Luna version, it's also um, possible to get it as a double wall option. And all of our brace plate heat exchangers are certified according to PED, ASME, and UL. So even for different markets on the globe, we have also the different needed approvals for it. Another new product is asymmetric plate and heat exchangers or brace plate heat exchangers. What you see here is the sample of the LC110 AS version. Why asymmetric? So asymmetric is mainly used if you have on one side a lower charge or a lower flow and on the other side a higher flow rate. So <clears throat> these units are designed for higher efficiency and used for it, lower pressure drop on the water side, <clears throat> um, higher capacity, which will help to reduce also a little bit smaller heat pumps or to design smaller heat pumps, smaller footprint, improved heat transfer, and um, these are the main advantages besides the compact size of this unit then of the brace plate heat exchangers. We at Hexonic, we have also applications for ammonia because besides the common R refrigerations or let's say the HF, HFK refrigerations. We are also focused on ammonia, so for industrial applications. And this is a little portfolio I would like to introduce also to you. We are starting with the Jack Shield. The Jack Shield is um, designed also for industrial refrigeration as evaporators or condenser. The Jack Shield could be used for vapor condensation, industrial cooling and heating system, oil coolers and heaters, gas heaters and coolers, SIP systems, or fuel oil heaters. So there is a lot of application for this unit and it is also suitable for a chemical process. What is a bit different is, you will see it on the next slide, is the design of the plate. So. As you could see, we have corrugated pattern on the plates, so it's not a straight channel, and this will help to increase the heat transfer and the efficiency, and this will then bring also um, a higher heat transfer rate. The other huge difference is it is not welded, it is braced. So you could get it as copper braced, when you don't need oil, when you don't have ammonia, but you could get it also what we call Luna, then fully made of stainless steel, and then it's suitable for ammonia application. So that means that even on the plate, you have contacting points between the um, the um, the different uh, between the plates. So this will give the package a more more strength and will help the package also to stay longer for the gas pulsation, which you could have if you use it as a condenser, just as an example. It is braced outside and it's braced over the plates. To fulfill the package of our products, we have also the dry cooler called D-Cool. So this is typical used in standard cold or chiller application, so water cooled chillers, for example. It is, could be as a horizontal, vertical, but also as a V-shaped product. Um, it is also used as a free cooler quite often, more and more also for data center application. It integrates electrical cabinet on demand and for an easy maintenance, you could lift up the area where the fan is mounted. This is an option, so you just release the screws and then you could lift it up so and then you have easy um, cleaning. 
So service people, I'm pretty sure they would like to have it. Um, adiabatic option is also available for this unit so that you could have higher capacity or even using free cooling on a lower temperature of the air outside. Last product I would like to introduce is our jack range. We have started to introduce and to launch it last year. The design of the plate is similar like to the uh, jack shield design, so with a corrugated pattern which will increase the heat transfer and the efficiency compared to, we have also what we called old line with the straight channels, so the difference in efficiency and pressure drop is roughly 10% for it. Um, it is used for chemical application, food beverage, traditional HVAC application, industrial, all that range. <clears throat> but, and that's the, the combination to the dry cooler. As I said, dry coolers are quite often used in data centers for free cooling. And our jack is, has achieved also the RE certification, which is required by data centers quite often. Technical parameter 6, 10, 16, 25, 30 bar. It's, um, yes, as you see, a plate and frame unit. Could be used also in pulp and paper industry or other industries because we have different um, press, deeping press of the plates and channels and thickness of the plates. Summing up, Hexonic can offer you heat exchangers for air to water heat pumps standard refrigeration application, as we all know it, we are all coming out of this field, water to water heat pumps. We have also application where you have um, an existing heat form from, for example, from vacuum furnace, where you could use the hot air coming out of the furnace or in the bakery and transfer it into a water tank using it for water to water heat pump or if you don't need it for a heat pump, you just extract it via the dry cooler. So it's like a system solution and a one-stop shop solution. Other things what we are doing is industrial heat exchangers designed accordingly to customer needs. For example, for ORC systems, which are also coming more and more. So it's the aim is really, or the target is really to extract and to use as much heat as possible from other sources and not to waste it anymore, anymore to the nature. Last but not least, all of our standard products could be selected in our Cairo online uh, selection software. If you have registered, it's a cloud-based software. So even from your cell phone, you just need a web browser and your uh, credentials to log into your personal account, then you could select the heat exchanger whenever you are, wherever you are, whenever you want, and maybe, yes, you like this idea and would like to get more about Hexonic. If you would like to know more or if you have questions, you will find us in Hall 7, straight down the catwalk and then on the left side. And there was the last slide is just for show you how our selection software is. It's very easy to use. You get a list of provided um, products for your application, and then you can select it. And this is now the end of my presentation. Thank you for the for attending. And as I said, if you have any questions, the team is happy to help. Thank you.